Hey, this is Greg Haig. Welcome to Real Estate Mavericks. What I'd like to talk to you about today is a concept that I developed years and years ago, and it's called start negotiating before the negotiating really begins. A lot of people think negotiating begins when you actually receive an offer on a listing. It's not the way I look at it. I look at it from the moment I list a home, actually even before I list the home when I'm starting to talk with the sellers, in my view, that's when the negotiating begins. That's when you start thinking about how to get the highest possible price on that home. First tip is talk to your sellers about getting an appraisal on the home. One of the things I did year after year that worked so well is I had several appraisers who would appraise homes for me uh, because I gave them so much business at, at a discounted fee. And what I did is I told my sellers, let's hire one of these people. I'll tell them we want the highest possible appraisal we can possibly get. Appraisers can do that. Simply say, we know there's a range of value under ideal circumstances. What is the highest amount you could appraise this home for? So we get that appraisal. And again, that helps me in so many ways. Number one, it gets the seller's head to into where the highest possible prices we could sell the home, take some of the burden off me in terms of justifying it. Number two, it gives me a great tool to use with buyers. When I'm out marketing the home, I can use this with other agents and buyers and say, look, we have this appraisal on the home and we know this, you know, and, and I know this is a really good aggressive appraisal. And the third thing is, is when we get an offer on the home, I use that appraisal to help justify to the buyer that we're going back and forth with why they should pay a higher price. Next tip. Know when time's on your side and when it's not. One of the things that's so important, you never want to list a home without doing that, and that is to talk to your sellers that, and, and explain that the first offer is often the best offer, that time's working against them. The more time on the market, the lower any buyer is going to be, be motivated to make an offer. And so they want to not be in this mindset that if you do the job in like a week or 10 days into the listing, you get an offer on the home. You know, sellers sometimes think, oh gosh, I priced my home too low. You want to pre-coach them the time you're listing the home that that's not the case, that these first offers are often the best. And I've had so many situations where a seller turned down an early offer and three or four months later we sat and we didn't see a thing. So you want to talk to your sellers about that. Third tip is you want to arm your sellers, arm your clients with information that's going to help you get the job done. That is get an offer accepted when that comes in. You see, as you know, almost any offer that comes in on a home, the sellers are going to want more. So if you pre-arm them at the time you list the home with the kind of information, not just the comps, but all kinds of information about what's going on in the market, such that their head will be in the right place to take that more reasonable offer when it comes in, that's what you want to do. It's going to help you make a lot more sales and your clients, your sellers, be a lot happier because they don't end up rejecting offers that they should have taken. And lastly, Everyone loves a story. This is such an important tip. One of the things I talk to my sellers about is how important it is for me to understand why they're selling and to get that out in the market so that I can relay to everyone how motivated they are and why their home is priced so aggressively. You know, put yourself, I tell my sellers, put yourself in a buyer's shoes. Do you want to look at a home, make offer on a home where basically you feel like the seller doesn't care that much about selling? Or would you rather make an offer on a home with a motivated seller where you feel you can make a really good buy. Well, one of the things I do is go out in the market. Sellers sometimes say to me, but Greg, we don't want everybody to know we're so motivated. That's going to cause them to make a low ball offer. On the contrary, what I tell them is I push it out there in the market that you're so darn motivated to sell the home. And that's why you've priced the home so aggressively. That's why it's such an amazing deal. That's why every agent out there, you've got to get your buyers over to come and see it. Powerful, powerful power to use, the, to use a story, an amazing, remarkable motivation story. Get it out to other agents. Get it out to your buyers. It's going to incent people to want to see the home more, and it's going to incent people to want to make offers on the home. And once that offer process starts, that's when most people think the negotiating begins. But if you do what I just told you today, you're going to have that start at a much higher level and be much more likely to sell that home. This is Greg Haig. If you'd like more tips like this, come on over to realestatemavericks.com where we're writing the creative playbook on how you can win in real estate.